Hi everyone, this is Nick, and I'm back again today for another video, and today what I'm going to be doing is a review video of probably the most, um, I not iconic, but the most popular item that Louis Vuitton has to offer, which I have done a review video of these before, but that is like my OG, like, super ghetto videos, like, in, like, chronicle order of, like, my videos, they were, like, super ghetto, then they were, like, really they were really ghetto, then they were kind of ghetto, and then now they're, like, mediocre, but, like, sad, so, um, yeah, so don't even bother looking back at the older video, because it's just awful, but I know there's a million and one different videos on this item, but there are a few little things I would like to, um, <clears throat> pick up on and just kind of explain to you guys. So what I'm talking about is the Louis Vuitton key pouch or clay or coin purse. There's a million names for this item and I have all the trifecta of the canvases. So da Dami Bean, Monogram, and Dami Azure. Now I have mentioned my Dami Azure. I did a whole video on that item. But um, these two I think I, I have mentioned before. Especially this one on my dummy being reviews, um, whatever. So, going into it, the first thing I have to say is the first one I ever purchased was this, um, dummy bean one. And I don't know if you'll be able to see the wear of this, but it is like so battered up. Like the screen printing is like chipped off. My zipper is basically silver now. Like, it's more silver than it is even brass. Like, it is. Oh my god, it literally is silver. I didn't even realize that. Yeah, so it's gold, then it's brass, then it's silver. So, came here to find out first, so hopefully you'll be able to see that. I don't know if you'll be able to, but hopefully you will. And this was my first one. And then, I purchased this. <clears throat> this was my second Louis Vuitton purchase. The first item I purchased were my shoes. Then I purchased this, which I will purchase at the same time, but at the time I bought this, um, they were really scarce, and they were very limited, and they didn't have enough of them. Thank God that isn't the case anymore, but it was when Louis Vuitton was having issues, so... Yeah, I had this one, and overall this item, it has just worn so perfectly. Other than the zipper, I would say the canvas is kind of annoying, but that's kind of my realization with Dami Bean. It just is kind of a problem child, at least in my case. But overall, this has just been a great thing. So then, it w I purchased this. It had to be... Um, I'm not too sure, but it has to be... Right, junior senior. It has to be five-ish, give or take years. I've had this item. Then, um, then I had, or I had this. So, I had that for at least a year, maybe two years-ish time frame. And then I went to Paris, and then I purchased these two. So, my Damier Azure, and then my Monogram Canvas. And I got these both along with my um, Tannin Wallet, and then my Polk Backpack at the Gallery Lafayette store. Because that's where we were, and that was my only chance of going to Louis Vuitton. So, that was where I purchased these from. And I actually purchased this one from the Chicago Boutique on Michigan Avenue. And in the time they hit time difference that I bought these, there was a um, slight design change, which I don't know if many people remember or know about, but this was like the old model, and this is the newer model, so um, the only significant difference is that the newer model is slightly longer than the old model. So, these are all lined up, and as you can see, this the monogram is longer than the Damier Bean, and this isn't based on canvases, it was just a change in models. So, this one is much, <clears throat> much, um, it doesn't look bigger, but it really does change so, with the wear, at least. So, the monogram one, and also the Damier Azure, they're both the same size, they're the same newer model. And I have to say, um, <clears throat> the newer model holds quite a bit more than the old model does. Now, um, <clears throat> probably in 
wear, I would have to say. I wore this like every day for a year or two straight. And then this one would be next in the wear, and then this one. So, I um, did a whole video on the Tommy Azor, so we're just going to put that one to the side. So, um, with these two, as you can see, I overstuff them. And as you can see, I have this rivet where it changed the canvas. So, the longer it became, this is how long a credit card is. Like, from this side over to here where this rivet is. And it's the same on this side, too. And with putting it in my pocket and everything, the key holder is longer than a card is, like a credit card. So that's where I get these issues. But on the Dami Bean one, since it's smaller, I never had that issue. So um, if uh, the only reason I'm mentioning the two different models is A, because of that wear, and also just because... Um, if you're buying something online and you already have one and you want to buy another one pre-loved or whatever and you notice hey this one's kind of smaller than the other one it's not because of anything it's not necessarily a fake it's just there is a slight change and that's that so going over everything um, so what I have in this one personally I use all three of them for different purposes and it just really depends I mean I use all three of them as waltz but when I'm not using it as a waltz they all have their different uses so this one my dummy being one since it is like my redheaded stepchild which also this has turned silver too holy cow it must have just happened because, I mean, not just happened, but oxidized or something because everything's silver. So they all have this little clochette where you open it up by pulling it down and opening it up like that. It has the LV with a circle right there. Um, and it also does have an LV on the zipper, which you would have seen before. But this one, I personally keep my home keys, so where I, my house because I go to school and I live in a dorm so um, this is my all my house keys which are really unnecessary and then also my two keys for my locks that I have for my Louis Vuitton pieces so I usually always keep that in here and that fits perfectly in here um, I have had trouble fitting like all types of car keys in here where it it does work, but it works better if it's not attached to this. It's just better if the keys are just put in there, but as you can see, it still fits. It just kind of distorts it, and then with a normal car key, it just makes it a little bigger, so... Which I don't have a car key with me because I live downtown and I don't have a car down here, so... Um, I can't show you that. But, um, with also these keys, I have also, <clears throat> well, sometimes you have to play with it. I have also fit, like, my driver's license and a couple cards in here, and it still works. So, that is very useful on the older model. And the same thing does apply to the new model, but with these, oh my god, let me tell you how much I can stuff in these. It is almost unbearable. Um, <clears throat> so, here we go. This is my, um card holder and I'm going to show you what I can personally fit in here so if you were to or hold on backtrack Nick I'm sorry this is all over the place exit out like this like I don't know I'm awful but in my that means or when I if I'm not using it as well I always keep an extra pair of headphones in there so that is just the last note on this dummy is or one that one needs to go away so <clears throat> if you wanted to use this um, you could actually fit a chapstick, and this one is from Burt's Bees. You can fit that right on in there. You can fit um, a little fragrance sample. This one is just one that I got from Creed, of the Green Irish Tweed, which I really do like. And then you can also... Um, Sorry, you can fit a couple of hair ties in here, so you can just pop those in there. You can fit more, but I only have two handy right now. You can probably, you know what, this actually isn't too bad. I might use this like this. I have, I personally have it, but you can fit a pair of nail clippers. You can get a pair of tweezers. 
that fits in there. And you can fit a, a couple more things on top, but for right now, that's about all that I would put in there from things that I think are kind of handy that you might want to carry with you. So you could use that, but then you could also, here, let's take all this stuff out. I do have this little mirror that I got from Hawaii, and it is, it just slides open like this, I don't want to blind you, but there's a mirror, and this one is just like your average size mirror, and it fits in there perfectly, while you can also put a couple of hair ties, your fragrance sample, your tweezers, is some people are just nasty and they have tweezers with them at all times. You know what? The tweezers don't work. Okay, we're going to take those out. Maybe the nail clippers, question mark? No. See, the mirror kind of takes up the whole space, so I really only have my mirror, fragrance sample, and hair ties in there. And that's about all that it fits. So, <clears throat> for a little weird stuff like that, this little item actually gets fit in there. Now, if you hold on for just a moment, I'll be right back and I'm going to fit in some cards. Alrighty guys, so now I'm back and I'm going to show you what I can fit in here. Um, like wallet styled. So, um, here are just a whole bunch of cards that I have. Once again, my Target gift cards, which I need to use, but I don't know what I want to use them for. So, this is... They're, and then there's a whole bunch of just different cards in here. So these aren't all gift cards. So right now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 cards. Now that I've proven I can count. And just like sticking these in here. Um, <clears throat> as you can see. This is what it looks like. That's what the top looks like. Zippering it up, it's fine. It, 17 cards fit in here perfectly. If you wanted to just use this as cards, um, you can also tuck your little key thing in and it still fits in there perfectly. It is kind of bulging just slightly right there, but that's to come if you ever put the little key thing in there. But if you took the key ring out, Let's see, I have one, two, three dollars. Holla at your boy. Um, cash with me right now. Um, I need to go to the bank. But with this item, you have to fold your bills into threes. So, um, so here's a full American size bill. Once, twice. So in the thirds, I guess. Or fold it twice. Just popping that in there. And that also fits in there perfectly so if you only have a few bills with you that's perfect but you can also fit a whole ton of bills in here um, but this bad boy it fits so much like you just really need to play with it I will have to say with the cash it you have to really like fold it down and compress it or else it really does make it bulky and kind of ruins the item which was my problem and it, if so, if you don't like folding bills, that might be your issue. Maybe you should go for the business card holder, where you only have to fold your bills in half. Or just use a different style wallet. But um, overall, this item fits so much. It's crazy. So... Yeah, that's about all I have to say on these items. I highly recommend them, like everyone and their mother does to everyone else. And I really would recommend you going and getting them, especially if you want to try out the canvas and everything and try out Louis Vuitton. Um, I do have to say the quality of this is much different than a bag is. As far as the hardware goes, it's like super different, but the canvas at least wears exactly the same so I would say try it out if you're kind of afraid because I believe this is 200 something when I purchased mine I think they were they were still under the 200 mark I don't know if they were 150 I don't know I don't really remember they were a lot of money to me at the time but in comparison to today they're not that much so 
Um, yeah, so with that being said, enough rambling, Nick. Get your life together. So, um, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helped. And if you have any further questions, leave them in the comments box below. Um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Be my friend. Um, and yeah, so I hope you guys all have a fabulous day wherever you are. And thank you for watching. Bye.